Medical marijuana dispensaries were swamped with patients today. It was the first day of dry leaf sales here in Pennsylvania. John Shumway reports that it may look like the stuff sold illegally on the streets, but it is medicine. Up until now, in the production of medical marijuana in Pennsylvania, the leaves and flowers have never made it out of processing. But today, they bloomed in full retail glory. And everyone's coming in as buying flour. I've tried the dry leaf, the bud, before. And it's actually better than the live resin. Nothing has ever helped me like this. But with the oils and extracts, it can be expensive relief. But it can vary anywhere between, I would say, couple hundred dollars a week to a couple hundred dollars a month. Enter the biggest attraction of the flowers. It's a lot cheaper. Patients were lined up outside the dispensaries when the doors opened. Pricing on the flower is a lot better and I think it's a, a nice price point for everybody. You could buy it in smaller forms so it didn't have to spend a lot of money. The less processing means the dry leaf and flower also has more of its natural benefits to the user. So from a medical standpoint, the flower, whole flower itself, uh, dry leaf, uh, is actually more beneficial to the body. Why did you want the flower? Because the oils and the concentrates were too, too potent. The oils and the concentrates, uh, they're closer to 70, 80% THC. Your flower products probably average about 20% THC. The dry leaf and flower must be crushed and used in a vape. Smoking it could result in losing your medical marijuana card. Most of these folks believe this is just the latest step towards recreational marijuana in Pennsylvania. It's just a flower, you know. God put it here. Oh, we'll get a center letter, it'll be, it'll, be, it'll be legal. Trent Hartley believes it will come once New Jersey goes legal, perhaps next year. And Harrisburg sees mountains of tax dollars leaving the state out of Philly. They could literally take a drive across a bridge. Unlike when the dispensaries first opened and there were shortages, the suppliers tell us there is plenty of medical marijuana in Pennsylvania now. In fact, Salivo is looking to open up another facility in the Butler area, CY Plus, is looking at Indiana, PA. In Squirrel Hill, John Shubway, KDKA TV News.